Happy Wednesday, everybody. A good video conversation yesterday from, from that vid. Uh, mostly everyone got what I was saying. Uh, balance is the key to success in NFL. If you do one thing, the defenses will, cap will capitalize, whether it's rushing, running or passing, either or. Uh, I had a couple of good back and forths with Cowboy fans, but to be honest, the only people who didn't understand what I was saying were the extremists who thought I was saying um, only run, which is a stupid strategy in my opinion, or we should have ran to come back after 31 and three, which is even stupider. Balance, balance is where it's at. Balance is key, but running the ball is where our money is at, period. Uh, but funny enough, when I was going through that, I, got a, I have a lot of Eagles fans that watch my videos and they understood I was saying, and it kind, it kind of makes sense, and it's simply because they lived through Andy Reid, and there was really no reason for them to get rid of Andy Reid at all, other than the fact that he couldn't finish. He was great with the passing game, probably the best of our era, really, as far as a coach with the passing game, but very sketchy with the running game. I, my, one of my favorite sayings was when he got inside the five-yard line, he didn't have any plays left <laughs> for that. So they get rid of Andy Reid and they bring in Doug Peterson and they just start picking up running backs from, from here and there and, and just and they still are loaded with running backs and uh, they run 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 and went won a Super Bowl with their backup quarterback and now they're they're, they're still running and you know what to be honest Eagles fans have been nice to me throughout most of the year you know there's some that take shots at Dak and I deserve that because. I take shots at Carson Wentz whenever I, whenever I get a shot. So, uh, so enjoy that little compliment, Eagles fans. I'm going to hate you as of Monday morning. All right. Um, the only rude comments I get are from our own fan base. I mean, that's sad because what you think about the Eagles fan base, the only people that call me names and curse at me and things like that are within our own fan base. Pretty sad. Uh, all right. Speaking of Dak, though, because this is video is kind of about him. I'm still behind him 100%. I've not wavered in the slightest. I still believe in them, yada, yada, yada. But there's a bunch of Cowboy fans that, um, that it does bother them, and that, that I'm not concerned at that at all. I know your frustration. So I'll, I'll see the comment, I'll like it, and I'll move on. I won't try to debate you and say, well, the first interception was a drop, and the third interception was a, was a pass interference. No, I don't, I'm not making any of those excuses at all, whatever. You're, you're entitled to believe what you want to believe uh, and feel how you want to feel. Because here's why, during the Romo era, I, I never, I never made videos trashing Romo, but that doesn't mean I was not frustrated with Romo. Um, he had a whole lot of multiple interception games at, at the worst time. That's he, he had he, his interception thing was kind of blowing up because he made interceptions at the wrong time. So he had some multiple interception games that just that burned me to the core. And now that he's gone. I look at fans' comments about Dak, and I kind of see the same things. You can look it back in my videos with, and, and over and over and over. I would say defenses load the box for the run and take away the short pass, forcing them to hold on to the ball to a wide receiver uh, uncovers, which usually ends up in a sack, uh, interception, or what won't rumble a fantastic play. But when it was not a fantastic play, we blamed the running back or the running game. Or we blamed the offensive line, and sometimes we blamed Romo. Some of us did. Um, now you fast forward that to 2019, and we are saying pretty much the same thing. They load the box, take away Ezekiel Elliott, and make Dak beat him. <laughs> that, I, I've, I've heard that over and over and over and over. Uh, and he ends up, they, they do the same thing. They cover short, they, they load the box for the run, and they rush the passer, and they, they make Dak either uh, take a sack uh, or throw an interception. And sometimes he makes a fantastic play, too, not on, not on the level of Romo, but sometimes he, sometimes he does. But when that happens, we blame Dak for holding the ball too long, or we blame the running backs. There's a lot of, there's a lot of Zeke hate going on, believe it or not, right now. Or we blame the offensive line, which, you know, they – haven't been performing that well, but in my opinion, is 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 scheme related, and then sometimes we blame Dak. So right now, I'm seeing similar things with different quarterbacks. So in my mind, that that just leaves the scheme, the the offenses they're running, because people have figured out what you have to do to the Dallas Cowboys scheme to to beat us. 
and I, I, I don't even want to talk about the <laughs> defensive scheme. I ain't like that since day one. But this is, this is why I very rarely, very rarely would trash our players. I, I think I stopped trashing players like four years ago or something like that. But I, I rarely trash players because I don't tr truly trust what's going into the players' ears. All right. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to have the Jets pregame report. And uh, I'll tell you right now, I'm a little nervous. Um, I watched that game with Philadelphia and the Jets last week, and it was not a walk in the park for the Eagles. Well, it wasn't a walk in the park on the offensive side of the ball. Defensive side of the ball is pretty much a scroll, a scroll to the park. Um, but Carson Wentz threw the ball almost 30 times for less than 190 yards. He, almost, he threw the ball almost 30 times, 29 times for 189 yards. Those were his actual numbers. And as a team, they only rushed for 84 yards. That good, that possibly great run, running attack of the Philadelphia Eagles only managed to get 84 yards as a team. So their defense actually won it with pressures, turnovers, and defensive scores. Three things that we don't do very well. They had 10 sacks in that game. I think we got 12 for the season. So I kind of hope... Kind of hope there's no Donald, but it looks like there's going to be Donald. And I'm not saying Donald is all that great, but he's definitely not practice squad material like Luke Falk that would just like be inept that entire game. So we'll talk about that tomorrow, and I'll see you then. Have a great day. I'll let you. Peace.